gave me the wrong one. This is what I think is the definitive visual modification for your 10th gen Honda Civic. And this goes for all the Civic models. The first thing that I saw when I joined all the Facebook groups and looked in the forums for visual mods, one of the first things that people said was you need to change out the side markers. People think they're ugly, the orange side markers, so we're gonna fix that. You have some options when you're looking for side markers. You have clear or smoked, and then you can either get them with LED or ambers. I chose smoked with amber, and I went with one of the reputable companies called Unity Performance. There are some that you can get on eBay. Um, I've seen a couple videos of people put installing them on YouTube, the eBay ones, and they look okay, but I think the way these are done, I, th I just think they look really good. The only problem I had with ordering these was I think I ordered them the first week of February and I just got them like the second week of March. He does them in batches. So I think there are a couple left on his website right now, maybe a few dozen. So if you want these, now's the time to get them or you'll probably have to wait another month, month and a half. So the first thing you're gonna do is if you're doing the driver's side, you need to cut the wheel to the right. So you don't have to take off the screws but it does make this little plastic part a little easier to maneuver, but you don't have to do it. So what you wanna do is take a flathead screwdriver now and get right in here. You're gonna see that clip and you're gonna very gently push in and it's gonna pop out at the same time. Just like that. And then it comes out very easily. And you wanna be very careful you don't tug on this wire right here that's connecting to the light bulb. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flathead again. And I already pushed it out a little bit, but that clip right there, you just wanna push it in between the bulb and the bulb housing. And it should come out pretty easily. Now, we're just going to flip this up like that. Pop it out. Okay, so I guess you just pull it out. You do need this because it doesn't come with uh, replacements. Here's the new bulb connector and we have to put it in here very gently. So I go up and I say, Hey man, I work out, and uh, there will be severe consequences if you don't turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> he's so stupid. No, no, he said he's on his way out. These are gonna be really cool. Very gentle. I'm using the uh, the two finger approach. I'm pretty sure it just pops back in. Okay. We are not popping back in. So I just rewatched the video from Unity to Performance, the uh, install video. What we're gonna have to do is actually bend this little part back right here. We're gonna have to bend that back towards us so that this little part can get in there so it can click in. So probably wise decision to unplug this. I guess, I guess we're not unplugging that. We're just gonna do it. See if it goes in now. There. It's good, right? We heard a click. Give him the thumbs up, babe. Hell yeah. I'm gonna do the other side real quick and then uh, we'll turn it on and see what it looks like. He gave me the wrong one. I ordered the one with amber and he gave me the clear one, but it does look pretty cool. I kind of like it. It does look cool. I actually really like but it. But I totally ordered the amber. That does look good. I can't believe I got the wrong. One. I feel like this happens to you a lot. It does! <laughs> it's bad luck with this car. I had problems with the K-Tuner. I had problems installing the tune. And now I get the wrong side marker. That looks pretty cool, man. I can't say I'm disappointed because they do look really good. And it does make sense because the 2020 SIs come with LED headlights which uh, to my understanding was like a $700 upgrade um, if you had a 17 to 19 SI. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think they do really look good. It all matches. So maybe this was meant to be. Yeah, the fitment is really good. And there's Vivian blowing O's in there. <laughs> that 
That looks so freaking cool, man. That is awesome. So, here, let me focus in on the light. It's not a 100% match, but I do, I do think it looks really, really good. Let's get a good side shot. Oh, that's nice, man. All right, so the end of today's video is gonna be a little different. I wanna start being more transparent with you guys. Um, I think it'd be really cool at the end of some videos to reply to comments uh, on camera so you guys can all hear my responses to some of the questions that are asked. Let's start off right here. First thing I'm going to look at are the comments that are held for review or likely spam. So let's go to the ones that are likely spam first. <laughs> I don't know why this was flagged as spam, but Creative Garage commented, thanks for bringing us yet another vibe. Is it because of the champagne glasses? Would they really mark this as spam because of the champagne glasses? Obviously I'm going to approve that. Thank you for commenting that. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, the next comment is for the BRZ race. And yes, his BRZ was automatic. Chris Smith commented <laughs> and he said, I shat my pants and cried. Then I gave the video a thumbs down. I can't stop crying because something smells like shit. Okay, Chris. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove that from my video because I think there's some, not because I can't take like, not because I can't take comments like that, I think it's funny, but because the YouTube algorithm, it tends to share videos more and push more videos that don't have as much derogatory information on them. So most likely, I mean, most of the time when I do get comments and people swear and drop the F-bomb and stuff like that, I will, or if it's just like downright hateful, I'll delete the comment because the YouTube algorithm notices that and it'll kind of squash my videos the more that that's on there. So, all right, let's see what else we got. I have seen these and I'm coming back. I saved them for this video. So on the video where I talked about the K-Tuner problems that I was having, Kyle F says, all you do is bitch about your car. It seems like every video, enough of this clickbait. Is that really clickbait though? Cause I'm not, I wasn't, I wasn't lying. Like I actually did have K-Tuner, I don't think Kyle watched the video. There was no clickbait in that video. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that comment because I don't think Kyle even took the time to watch the video. And then let's go on to Michael K. This is for the video where I installed the TSP Stage 1 tune and it was installed incorrectly. Buy a Type R and stop bitching. Holy fucking hell. STFU. Okay. See, I don't really feel like I was bitching though. I was very honestly explaining what was going on. And those are my first impressions like that. I wasn't, I wasn't bitching. Was I bitching? I don't feel like I was bitching. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Okay, this guy is kind of out of control. I've seen his comments. They've been here for about a week. Reckless Whisper. It looks like a, a picture of an older gentleman, which is fine, just something I'm pointing out. Okay, so on the video, uh, five things I don't like about my Civic Si. Valid, bitches. Rev hang? Good fucking lord, stupid. You cannot drive this car smoothly with that freaking rev hang. Sucks. Pretty much all my main complaints, too. And then it looks like he, he put a cat. It looks like a cat. Speaking of cat, come here, Kevin. Come here, buddy. You guys remember Kenny? Kenny's been on my channel, he's my best friend. I did my intake review with him. Oh, come here, buddy. This is his cat, Mr. Kevin. And his breath stinks, but he's a good boy. He's a good, good boy. Mr. Kevin's gonna join us. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that comment because he, he seems kind of crazy. Okay, um, another comment on that same video. Hunter said, bro, get a Honda out of Flash Pro. It completely changes the car. You can also turn off Rev Hang with it. Reckless Whisper said, bullshit. He just said bullshit and he put another cat, which is, I'm not sure what to think about that. Well, Reckless Whisper, I regret to inform you that uh, it is not bullshit. You can, in fact, turn off Rev Hang with Honda out of Flash Pro. So that comment deserves a big fat remove. So now let's get on to normal comments from not crazy people and not grumpy people. This guy on my intake install video said, my mileage dropped two to three MPG after intake install because I kept gunning it to hear the suck, lol. I guess I'll give that a heart. I don't know what, I don't have any response to that really. Chris Smith on my key tuner problem video, he said, Honda needs to go back to their NA motors. They're not going to, ever. These turbocharged engines with smaller displacement is obviously just a cheaper way to make profit. You know what? I think that is what it is. 
I think that is exactly what it is because Honda has the 1.5 engines, which I'm gonna do a very in-depth review on. I'm gonna do like an in-depth, everything you need to know sort of video on the L15B7, like what it came to be today. He said, it's hard finding a Type R without the $10,000 markup. I think a lot of people are just not willing to make a drive. Like I'm in Sacramento, there's not gonna be a Type R for MSRP where I am, but I guarantee I can find one within a 500 mile radius for MSRP. I'm gonna make a video actually of calling dealerships and trying to figure out where I can find one at MSRP. And I'll definitely show you guys like the dealerships that I'm calling and all that stuff. You know what? I'm gonna do that probably right after I film this. That's all I have for today. I'm gonna end this video right here. That was a lot. Just so you know, yep. These are my Halo action figures. I got a whole bunch of them. Some more up here that Mr. Kevin keeps knocking down. I'll see you guys next time. Mr. Kevin, say bye. Say bye, Mr. Kevin. Okay, he's going crazy. He's going crazy.